everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a sew with me video about how I sewed a 1950s swing coat. Originally, I wanted to make this video into a vlog style with me doing on the spot voiceovers, but halfway through filming, I gave up on it. The reason why I gave up doing a vlog style video, and the reason why you'll see so much light brown colored dog fur on the coat, is because my dog Brownie was sick at the time I was working on this coat. Since I had to stop sewing and take care of her, I found it easier and less stressful not to do a voiceover and instead sew and record only. Pattern I used to make the swing coat is Simplicity Pattern number 8509. I wanted the coat to be long, so I used View A. The fabric I used to make the coat is black fleece, and the lining is black poly satin left over from an abandoned project. After I cut the pattern pieces and the fleece, I sewed them together. The past few coats I've sewn did not turn out right, so I was worried this one would also not turn out right. But I found this coat pattern very easy to sew, and the coat pieces lined up very well. After sewing the fleece fashion fabric together, I sewed the lining to the coat. While sewing the front facing to the fleece exterior of the coat, I found a hole in the fabric. I didn't know there was a hole in the fabric when I purchased it or when I cut out the front facings, but I did have a hole in the fabric, and because of the way I positioned the fabric as I cut it, it was right in the middle of the facing. To fix this before I sewed the lining to the jacket, I took a scrap piece of fleece and hand stitched it to the wrong side of the facing. Although if you look closely you can see the patch, from a distance it is not noticeable. After the fix was done, I began sewing the lining to the coat. Since I have more control if I sew the lining in by hand, I decided to do so in hope of preventing any problems sewing the lining in. After I sewed the lining to the fashion fabric, I sewed the lining to the sleeve cuffs and then hemmed the bottom of the coat. After that, the coat was finished. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the way the coat turned out. I had very little problems with the pattern pieces not fitting correctly, especially the lining which sewed in without any sort of problems. The instructions are fairly clear and make sense. It's a great coat to make, and I look forward to making another shorter version of this swing coat in the future. I was also very impressed with how simple the coat is. It didn't take very long to make. Even though I was very busy when I made the coat, it actually didn't take me very long to finish.
that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video and want to see more, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Take care. Goodbye.